Hi everyone, and welcome to another edition of Ultra Mobility Mini Review, where I give you just the essentials of an RV in a five minute review. I'm your host, Neil Balthaser, and today we're taking a look at a brand new Class B motorhome, which is designed with taller folks in mind. It's the National Traveler Trek by Regency RV, and its claim to fame is that it's the only Ram ProMaster built with a raised roof that provides, get this, a full seven foot four inches of interior headroom. Regency is a relative newcomer to the Class B and B Plus segment having introduced their first Class B, built on the Mercedes Sprinter chassis, the Exalta, in 2015. But their heritage goes back to 1995, when they were doing luxury, high-end car, van, and SUV conversions. Today, Regency RV produces just 200 unique RVs and the National Traveler expands their product lineup by being their first Ram ProMaster offering. The National Traveler comes in two layouts. The Tour, which has a rear sofa slash bed configuration, and the Trek, which is the one we're reviewing today. Both the National Traveler Trek and Tour models are built on the Ram ProMaster 3500 chassis. That means they're powered by the same engine that powers all ProMaster chassis, the 3.6 liter V6 Pentastar gas engine, with a six-speed transmission and is capable of delivering up to 280 horsepower and 260 pound-feet of torque. The 3500 chassis is the longest of the ProMaster chassis, clocking in at 20 feet 11 inches, but that length is still three feet shorter than the longest sprinter chassis and only one and a half feet longer than the shortest sprinter chassis. So it splits the difference between the two giving you an extra foot and a half of interior living space while still keeping the van short enough to be used as a daily driver and to fit into normal parking spaces. This ideal length of the ProMaster 3500 chassis is being adopted by a whole bunch of RV manufacturers, including the Winnebago Travato, the Heimer Active 2.0, the Roadtrek Zion, the Pleasureway Lexor, the Fleetwood IROC, and the Midwest automotive designs legend, just to name a few. But none of these competitors have what the National Traveler Trek has, and that's a seven foot four inch interior standing height. Take a look at all this headroom. There's so much space above that Regency can afford to put a second bank of cabinets. Yes, that's a second bank of white cabinets on both sides and a second set in the front as well. Those extra cabinets double the interior storage capacity. What will you do with all this storage? Regency does this by fitting a fiberglass cab on top of a normal ProMaster, and that gives you over an extra foot of interior height. Pretty clever. So there's a ton of headroom in this coach, and taller folks are going to appreciate that for sure. But what about other accommodations like the bed and bathroom? The bedroom slash lounge on this Trek model is located at the rear of the van. And in the lounge configuration, you've got two bench seats that face one another. A good size pedestal table can be set up between them. And there's a 24 inch LCD TV sensibly placed back here. That TV, by the way, can be removed and mounted to the outside of the van. You've got speakers mounted to the underside of the cabinets and there are lap belts for traveling. These bench seats jackknife, so to convert the lounge into your bedroom, just pull them out and voila, you've got one large 54 by 73 inch bed. You will be sleeping laterally in this bed and taller folks should take note that the maximum length of this bed is just an inch over six feet. It's recommended that the taller person sleeps on the side closest to the front of the van, since there's a bit of extra overflow there, and they can angle their body for extra room. Let's talk about the other area of the coach where height is important, and that's the bathroom. This is a two-piece wet bath. Wet bath meaning that the shower and the toilet share the same area. Two-piece meaning that there is no sink. As far as standing height, if you're expecting a full seven foot four inches, you're going to be disappointed. The shower stall is the same installed on the normal height National Traveler Tour, and that means the interior height in the stall 
is 5 feet 10 inches. Still, I do love the glass door, which by the way is only found on the Trek DL edition. You've got a front lounge as well with a two-person jump seat. This jump seat doesn't convert to a bed. On the Trek model, you can opt for a second 32-inch LCD TV, which is mounted right above the door, which you can do because there's so much extra headroom. You can see it in this shot looking into the van. One thing to note, there is no table that can be set up in this front lounge. Let's move on to the galley. It's an okay-sized galley. When the counter extension is flipped up, you've got pretty good prep space. That's a nice deep sink with a residential style faucet. And look at that, a standard induction cooktop. You've got three drawers for storage down below, a pantry to the right with adjustable shelves and another drawer below, and then more cabinet storage across the aisle. So all in all, plenty of kitchen storage. There's a 3.1 cubic foot refrigerator and a non-convection 0.9 cubic foot microwave. On the standard height tour model, the refrigerator is seven cubic feet and the microwave is a convection oven. There is one other feature about the National Traveler that may interest some of you, and that is that the fresh and black water tanks and all associated water lines are inside the coach. And the gray water tank is fitted with a standard heating pad. That means that like the Travato, this coach is more capable of winter usage. You'll still have to be aware of below freezing temperatures since the plumbing lines are not wrapped in heat tape and the sewer lines can also freeze up. But it's a lot more for a season than most coaches. Also, this coach can be upgraded to the very capable Xantrex lithium battery system that's capable of running the AC for six to eight hours without needing to start your generator. There are some other nice features that are available on the National Traveler too, like the standard Sumo Spring suspension upgrade, a standard instant hot water heater by Gerard, and an optional four camera exterior viewing system. As for pricing, base model National Traveler treks can be found in the low 80s with upgraded models without the lithium upgrade averaging around 90,000. Like all Regency RVs, the National Traveler comes with a three-year, 36,000-mile coach warranty. I think the National Traveler Trek is a very interesting Class B coach. It gives you a ton of headroom and four-season capability and wraps it all in a sub $100,000 price. The one thing it's missing to be a tall person's dream RV is a taller bathroom. If you want me to do a full review of the National Traveler Trek, then you need to vote right now. Head on over to my community tab and cast your vote. I'll put a link to my community tab in the video description below. Okay, that wraps it up. If you enjoyed this mini review on the National Traveler, then give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit that little bell to be notified whenever a new video drops on my channel. And thanks for watching Ultra Mobility Mini Review, where I cover just the essentials in a five-minute review. I'll see you next time, everyone. Take care. Bye-bye.